Hey everyone, my name is Amada and I am a sophomore at NYU and today I'm going to talk about my testing scores. Okay, I bet someone, whether you're in college or whether you're a senior or junior in high school looking at colleges has done one of these things. You have gone onto YouTube and you've typed in how to get into X school with these scores. And while you're watching these videos where everyone's talking about their SAT scores, their ACT score, their GPA, basically their stats, you realize that a lot of these people actually have perfect like perfect scores, you know? They have above 29s on the ACT or they have 1300s on the SAT. And I just wanna say that my senior year when I got my scores back, I realized that my scores were not considered perfect, okay? And this made me really nervous because I thought I couldn't get into my dream school. I thought I couldn't get into any big schools or really just into college in general because I had low testing scores. But I'm here to share with you guys that one, test scores do not entirely make or break your application. I am a living example, living proof of that because my test scores are below that of NYU's and I'm gonna share, share with you my stats in a minute. And two, just because your test score doesn't match up to like the school's average does not mean you should not apply because when they're looking at college applications, they're looking at one, your test scores, of course, your GPA, your extracurricular activities, and your personal essay. So don't be afraid to go for those schools even if you don't really fit the, their criteria because like you never know what could happen. And three, don't beat, your, don't beat yourself up so much on your testing scores. I know that I did. Um, when I got my scores back, I felt so terrible. But the thing is like I really tried like my hardest and I think that's the best anyone can do at this point. Just try your hardest and like life will take you where you need to go from there. So let's get into my test scores and compare them with NYU's. If you guys did not know, you can go onto the NIST website and you can type in your college and scroll down to the bottom to admissions and it will tell you exactly what you need in your portfolio. Also, it will give you the average ACT and SAT scores and also the deadline of when the application is due. So go ahead and check that out. Average GPA for college seniors who apply to NYU and get accepted is a 3.7 and I had like a 3.75 in high school so I was like a little above the average so I guess that's like the one thing that was on par so now we're gonna go into the SAT score so the typical SAT scores for NYU range from a 1300 range from 1310 to 1510 I on the other hand got an 1160 now, the average ACT score for NYU is 29 to 34. I got a 24. My highest section for the ACT was a 28 in English. But besides that, everything was like 24s, 22s, and averaged out to a 24 total. So even after my college admission into NYU, I was still doubtful of my skills because of my testing scores. Um, I thought that my testing scores were gonna determine how well I was gonna do in college, so I went in really scared. I didn't think I was gonna make it. But lo and behold, everyone, my first semester of college, I had a 4.0, and I have never had a 4.0. After I got my first 4.0, I realized that I can do it, and you know, that I shouldn't feel insecure about my place at NYU because of my testing scores. Um, from there on, I took leadership positions at NYU and also got into honors classes as well. It's so just a lesson for everyone out there. Don't let your scores define you and don't let them hinder or basically like make you think that you're not going to make it at college or the college that you go to because you guys will. If you guys find yourself struggling, reach out to professors, go to resource centers, and you guys will be okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Everyone out there, good luck on your college applications.